Aloha, my friends. Welcome back to Maui Craft Kitchen. Today, we're going to be revisiting my very first episode and making it a bit faster and easier to follow. We will be making fresh pasta. It's a lot easier than you think, and once you try it, you'll want to make it again and again. So hold on to your noodles, because we're going to work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Big mahalo to Rob the camera guy for always putting up with me. This is the easiest and cleanest way I have found to make fresh pasta. Get a bowl that easily fits your flour. Make a little well in the middle. Crack your egg in and beat it with a fork. Add in your salt. Slowly incorporate the flour into the egg. If you don't have a scale for the flour, you can do it the old school Italian way. Dive your hand into the flour and pull out a fistful. They refer to this measure as a punch, and it is fairly accurate if you have an average size hand. One punch of flour for every large egg. We are going to knead this until it just comes together and there's no more flour left in the bowl. Once it has absorbed all of the flour, remove it from the bowl and knead it for just a minute more. If you're in a rush to get this done, you can knead it for 10 minutes now, then rest it for about 45 minutes before rolling. Now roll it out into a cone-like shape. Place the cone tip down onto the board and press with your palm to form a disc. Wrap tightly in plastic to keep it from drying out. Let it rest on the counter for 20 to 30 minutes. After 20 to 30 minutes, the dough will still look quite rough. Now that it is more hydrated, we're going to knead it for a couple more seconds. Now we have quite a mess on the bottom. So, like before, we're going to roll it into a cone-like shape. This closes that large hole and makes our dough more solid. Now put it tip down onto the board and press with your palm again, forming a disc. Now both sides are much more smooth. Wrap it in plastic and let it sit for at least four hours. Go pick up the kids, go grocery shopping, and come back to it. Or just pop it in the fridge until tomorrow. Pull it and let it come up to room temperature before rolling. The next day, you will be able to tell that your dough is a lot more hydrated and relaxed. Through the ways of television magic, I made this larger dough ahead of time. So I'll just cut it into some smaller pieces to make it easier to handle.
Rewrap it to prevent dehydration. Okay, today I am using my stand mixer pasta attachments. Yours might be a hand crank style. Either way, they do the same thing. There's a dial on the side that is numbered. It pulls out and spins to set. Usually the lowest number is the widest setting. As you increase and decrease the numbers, the rollers get closer and further. We're going to start on the widest setting. In my case, number one. Take your well-rested and hydrated dough and smash it down with your palms so it can pass through the rollers a bit easier. Add a little flour as necessary to keep it from sticking to the board and the rollers. Feed it through on the widest setting. Now we are going to do a letter fold. We have a piece of pasta that is sort of oblong and misshaped. We can square it up a little bit better by doing this. Press and flatten a bit with your palm. Put a bit more flour on it and roll it again on the same setting. Do another letter fold and roll once more. Now we will have a much more uniform sheet of pasta. Roll it again to ensure even thickness. Look at that, much more squared off. Lightly flour this sheet and cover it in plastic wrap while you complete this process with all of your remaining dough pieces. Now that all of the sheets are done, we're going to roll them thinner. Lightly flour it. Go to setting number two and roll it a bit thinner. Go to setting number three and pass it through. Look at that sexy pasta you're making. Setting number four. Depending on what you are making, you will want your pasta to be different thicknesses. I like to go no thinner than setting four on my machine for basic noodles and shapes. Just look at that sexy pasta sheet that you just made. I'll leave this on the counter for just a few minutes to make it easier to cut while I finish the other pasta sheets.
If your pasta starts to feed crooked, just pull the upper part of the sheet very slightly in the opposite direction. We are now ready to cut. Lay some flour down. I have the fettuccine cutter on the machine and we will just feed it through slowly. Grab them when they are halfway through. Look at those beautiful noodles. Coat them in a bit of flour and spin them to form a nest. You can freeze it until you are ready to use it or dehydrate it, however you prefer. I switched it up to the spaghetti attachment and we are going to do the same thing. Wow, look at those beautiful noodles. You can also cut your pasta by hand. Roll it up and slice with a sharp knife to make noodles. Get a pasta wheel, pretty up the edges, and cut rectangles. You're going to pinch the center, Fold the sides back. And pinch to secure. Again, pinch in the middle. Fold the wings down, keeping the center crease. and pinch to secure. You can simply use the pasta wheel to make fun, wavy noodles in a flash. all out of the same sheet of pasta. Look at everything we just made. Bravo, bravo. You just made your own fresh pasta. Get creative with your shapes and cuts. Have some fun in the kitchen, turn those tunes up, dance around a little bit, and make some fresh pasta for dinner. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. I can't thank you enough for watching. Many mahalas and much aloha.